guys welcome back to the channel congratulations and bienvenue sur ma chaîne so for today's video we're going to talk about our growing people or friendships without really having any beef but first before we get started definitely make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed hit the like button if you haven't liked it yet and also make sure you comment down below any type of video you like me to film next because i'm planning on implementing more girl talk video you guys see i'm pretty comfortable in my living room sitting down talking to you guys so i want to do more of these so definitely leave topics down below for me to do videos that you guys are interested in and I don't want to forget y'all happy new year because this is my first video of 2020 so I would like to first and foremost wish all of you guys a happy new year to you your family your loved ones everyone around you and may this year be a year full of blessings health and wealth okay now let's get started so first um, as you guys can tell a lot of us have had those type of friendships that let's say you guys go to the same school together and when you guys graduate or one of you guys graduate and go to different university let's say it was from high school to university go to different university the friendships start like fading like you guys for at first you guys miss each other of course so you guys will talk and talk and talk and talk then with time like the communication will get lower and lower and lower up to the point that you guys will no longer talk and it's not like you guys have a beef it's just that you guys outgrow each other and that's one thing i really want to touch base on this girl talk because a lot of people think that because you don't talk to somebody anymore like you used to or you don't talk to them at all means that you guys have a beef but it's not always the case like we don't always need to be for me not to talk to you it just happens that sometimes you outgrow people and I feel like in today's society, it's hard for people to understand that part, like, that you can outgrow people, and that is okay. Don't beat yourself up for it. Like, it's okay. Like, I have outgrown so many people. If you guys, like, if any of you guys watching me knew me from high school, I had mad friends in high school because I was in, like, the African dance team. I, I was in the hip-hop dance team. Like, I was really involved. I was in, like, after-school programs. So, of course, I had friends. But after I went to college especially first of all i graduated in the 11th grade okay only did high school in three years so you guys know already that means i left some friends that i went from middle school to high school with because i graduated a year early so some of those friends i don't talk to anymore because i went to college we started having two different lives and mind you quick story time if you guys haven't watched my story time about my friend left me for a man my best friend at that you guys should definitely watch it. I will link it down below because um, she, one of the reasons she claimed that we could not no longer be friends was because I went to college and she was still in high school and we didn't see life the same way. That was one of the reasons she mentioned that day that she was telling me. Um, that was one of the reasons she mentioned, okay? That day she was telling me that um, we could no longer be friends. Like, what? Okay. But anyways, if you watch the story time, you know it was because of a guy. A guy that's that she's no longer with first of all but anyways useless guy anyways so but yeah sometimes you just outgrow people and that is okay and i would like every single one of you guys to know that it's okay to outgrow people sometimes it just happens and i had outgrow so many people and then people will be hitting me up like what happened what happened what's the tea <laughs> there's no tea sis there's no tea we just outgrew each other and that is okay so I'm sure that from some people this year, 2020, will be outgrowing people that they met in 2019, and that is okay. It's one thing to outgrow somebody and don't talk and not talk to them or check up on them, and it's a whole nother thing for you to like, you know. Sometimes you have those friends that you guys can do months and months without talking, and then when you guys talk, it's like you guys talk every day. That's a different situation right there. Then there's definitely a connection because when you guys talk, it's like you guys click so well but most of the time it just happens y'all like we were friends now we're no longer friends and it's life a lot of things i do like can cause that okay like changing a job let's say you had friends like some type of co-worker that became your friends if you moved like you, you move out of state or change jobs you will lose those friendships especially if for example, me, I'm the type of friend that I'm very caring. So if it's always you, like, checking up on the other person, eventually you get tired of doing that and you guys, the friendship would fade. It doesn't mean that I have a beef with you. 
I probably just got tired of always being the one checking up on you. Or I just got too busy that I also couldn't check up on you because you weren't doing that at first. And like I said, friendship works both ways. I cannot only be the only one doing the job, baby. <laughs> it's not going to happen. We both got to do our best. We both got to work for this because if we both care about each other, that's what happens. We both work on the friendship together. And it's easy to tell if a French, if you do more than the other side. I'm not saying that it should be 50-50 or whatever, but I have been in so many friendships that literally, like literally, I was always the one checking up on the on, on the on the person. I was always the one seeing if the person was okay. I was always the one, even when the person was like, I'm not okay, I would be the one like like being like, Come on, what's wrong? Are you okay? You want me to take you out? Like I like I'm that friend, okay? So I was always the one trying so hard to please this person that didn't really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? So I remember one day we got into it and I said, I'm always the one reaching out. Like, can you try at least, like we've been friends for like two years. I remember it was already two years of our friendship and I have always been the one reaching out. I told her that and she said, well, if you don't like the way, the type of friend I am or the way I handle my friendship, then we can stop being friends. Like, is that shit or is that shit? Are you really my friend or do you want to really, like, do you really want to keep the friendship? If it's, I'm not friends with that person now, now anymore, so I don't even care about her. But yeah, like that was already a red flag. Like maybe I was just like I considered her like like a, like a close friend. So for her to tell me that I felt some type of way, I was like, oh my gosh, like am I like pushing myself onto this girl or what is going on? Her on the other hand, we ended. I don't have a problem with anybody at this point. Like I mean anybody. Like, if I ever had a beef with you, you can DM me and ask me, I have any problem with you. I'm cool with everybody. But sometimes it's just best that, you know, you guys both stay in your corner and live your life. I always have love for this girl I'm talking about. I always have love for her, but it's just that it's going to be from a distance. You know, we cannot get close anymore because I felt, because I felt betrayed, okay? Like, I felt like I was betrayed because I treated her like a, like a very close friend and she just didn't see it like that okay and yeah it being this year is the second year that we stopped talking like I'm talking about cut every and any type of communication so sadly that ended as a quote-unquote beef because this wasn't the reason why we ended the friendship by the way the, like the way we ended the friendship was you know quote-unquote beef but I, if you're watching this video I have no problem with you boo like I don't I'm, I have no issues with you. I really don't. So, yeah, I just feel like we started agreeing each other and things just got a bit um, out of hand. So, that's why we're no longer friends today. But other than that, I have no problem with you. Um, I don't want you to think that I have a problem with you. You know, I see what you're doing. I see... I, 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 I kind of... I love you from a distance, like I said. So, I kind of still see what you're up to. And I see that you're doing great for yourself. And I hope that you continue doing great for yourself. So, yeah, that's that. That was my quick story time. But, yeah, like I said, um, those were actually two story time in one. <laughs> if you guys didn't peep that. But, like I said, it happens, okay? So, somebody asked me on my Instagram, do you think you can outgrow people? Yes, you can. Without any beef? Yes, you can. It doesn't always have to be a beef. It doesn't always have to be a why. It just happens. Sometimes, like, haven't you ever had a friend that you talk to and out of, out of nowhere you guys stop talking and the person probably unfollows you? That's also another thing I want to mention before I close this video. Because somebody unfollow you doesn't mean that they have a beef with you. <laughs> Social media has gotten out of hand, man. Some people be like, oh, are you beefing? I see that she unfollowed you or you unfollowed her. There's no beef. Why should I have that extra person on my, you know, on the people I follow when we really don't keep up with each other? Like, we were friends at one, at one point and, you know, we the friendship faded and we're no longer friends. So, not because we have a beef, but because, you know, the friendship ended. Like, no one was checking up on the other one. Or I, on this case, felt like it was more one-sided. So, what's the point? Why should I keep that type of friendship? 
I'm the type of friends, like I said, I really care and I really give a lot in friendship. So I feel, when I feel like I'm being used or when I feel like the love is not at least being reciprocated a little bit, at least a little bit, come on now, at least a little bit. If I feel like it's not being reciprocated a little bit, I just, I just rather go my way. <laughs> yeah, so I have no beef. Funny, fun fact, fun, fun fact actually, not even funny, but fun fact, most of the people that I grew in my life, if I see them around or somewhere, I stop and I say hi. That's how much I have no beef with them. It's just that they need to understand, okay, you know, we were close in middle school. Now, she's a graduate college student. It's not there anymore, you know. But some people, like I said, you guys don't talk for months and then you guys call each other, everything clicks. But then some friendship just don't click like that. You guys have to keep up with each other. And if you guys don't, the friendship fades and it just ends right there no beef intended like <laughs> no beef so yeah that was my girl talk about having to outgrow people in your life without any beef yes it's possible it has happened to me i'm sure you probably have somebody that used to talk to in a regular that you guys don't talk to as much anymore or at all so yes it can happen that doesn't mean that there's a beef anywhere or there's the, like why is there always gonna be like is there a beef like why does it can it just be like okay we agree each other it happens it's life like people always want to find beef in, in places where there's really really no beef like come on now but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm planning on doing more girl talk video and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video once again smash that subscribe button smash that like button comment down below any other uh, topic you would like me to talk about or video you'd like me to film i'll make sure i do so for you and also share this video around because a lot of people do not believe in outgrowing their friends or when they feel like the friendship is about to fail they want to save it so bad whole time by saving it you're going to end up hurting yourself in the long run so if you know you guys are growing each other let it happen and that's life it's that's that or that okay period i'll catch you guys on my next one bye